Live from New York, and I'm back with this week's video. Now, last week I wasn't able to upload anything because the entire weekend pretty much got rained out, so I'm pretty sure there was no sales going on unless there was any indoors, but I didn't even bother. I only had like 15 or $20 to spare anyway, so it really wasn't a big deal. I just waited till this week. Now, I filmed the first part of this video yesterday, which was Saturday, and I was going to edit it and upload it by Sunday, but I ended up having plans on Sunday. Uh, so I kind of just left it on the back burner and Sunday uh, I was on the way to a barbecue and I saw a random garage sale um, right around the corner from where I was going so of course I had to stop um, even even though I was already late all right so I'm gonna start this video with Saturday's pickups and then I'm gonna cut back and uh, show you the stuff that I got today um, I didn't get too much today, but I got some pretty good stuff for really cheap, so I'll cut it right here. Alright, so before I get into today's yard sale pickups, I'm going to start with some of my uh, more recent pickups and also a couple of trades I did uh, with a couple guys on Instagram. Alright, so the first one is uh, Mario Kart 8, and uh, this just came out yesterday. I actually uh, traded in a whole bunch of stuff that I had that I didn't use, a bunch of like garage sale finds, uh, and uh, GameStop was doing 40% extra back for uh, pro members or whatever it's called now so I traded that in towards this and I completely paid off my copy of Mario Kart 8 with you know just 10 or 15 dollars worth of uh, garage sale pickups and at the same time I also paid off most of Watch Dogs I think I owe 10 dollars left after all was said and done I picked this up for a PS4 it was a really cool game it's kind of like Assassin's Creed and GTA mixed together with like you know a whole hacking culture in it so it's a really cool game so far, I'm enjoying it. Only thing is the driving is a little weird. Kind of got to get used to it. And while I was in there, I couldn't pass this up. Yeah, Lynx Crossbow Training. Uh, I think it was 44 cents for pro members. I actually have the game, but I didn't have the uh, cardboard sleeve for it, so it was worth the 44 cents just to get the original case. All right, so I'm gonna move on to a couple of trades that I did with a couple of cool guys from Instagram. Um, the first trade, was with a, a guy named Burger Dog on Instagram, and uh, I traded him a copy, my second copy of Xenoblade Chronicles. I got Contra Hard Corps for the Genesis. Labels in really good condition. Really good pickup. Uh, this game is awesome. And also a copy of uh, Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes for the GameCube. This was a big one I was trying to post on my list. Uh, I mean, there's a little bit of uh, water damage and stuff to the sleeve here, but the discs are in perfect condition, so I was just happy enough to get the game to play, because I've wanted this one for a while. Uh, when it first came out, my, my buddy got it on GameCube, and uh, I haven't played it since then. Like, that's the last time I remember playing it, so I was really happy to pick this one up. And the second trade was with a guy named Decath. 6431 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if you watched my last video you saw that I picked up the uh, the mini PS1 with the flip up screen which was also my second uh, double of that. So I sent that out to him and he sent me uh, The Legend of Zelda Four Swords for the GameCube. And another one I've been looking for for a while, uh, Tales of Symphonia. So with just a couple of trades I knocked out a couple of huge GameCube games off my list. I think the main ones I'm looking for now is Eternal Darkness, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, um, off the top of my head, those are really the main ones, Smash Brothers, for some reason I don't have, uh, Mario Kart Double Dash, uh, if anybody has any of those games for trade, uh, let me know in the comments or write me on Instagram, yeah, we could probably work something out. Alright, so this next couple of pickups was also from Instagram, but instead of a trade, um, this guy put up a lot of stuff for sale. Uh, and I went through it and we uh, he hooked me up with a pretty good price on all this stuff as far as I'm concerned I think I got a pretty good deal on it um, Got a whole bunch of stuff here First thing was a, a lunger for the PS1 This is uh, one of the working design titles I need for my collection uh, I'm trying to at least get all the uh, working design titles for PlayStation 1 and 2 Next up is Wild Arms for the PS1 It's another really cool RPG um, I believe this is yeah, it's missing the manual, but the disc is in a really good condition. I was really happy to pick this one up and add this to the collection. And uh, last but not least, we have uh, Persona Revelations. Uh, this was the main game I was going after when he posted it up, and I kind of uh, wrangled up 
the other three and uh, we worked out a little package deal uh, but this is in like mint condition the discs are perfect it's a uh, complete with the manuals even has the send away for the uh, strategy guide but yeah I was really happy to pick this one up and complete the uh, Persona series on the PS1 and I also had inquired about a couple of the games but I ended up only going with it three and to my surprise when I opened the package he ended up including the other games anyway so uh, the first one was Automotalista for PS2 this is uh, like a cell shaded uh, you know racing game by Capcom and uh, yeah, surprisingly, he also threw in Resident Evil 1 long box, which I've never seen these long boxes there. Kind of like a cardboard that was glued down, and it's, it's appealing on every corner. So I'm going to have to glue it back down, but um, I'll show you guys the inside of this. Uh, it's missing the manual, but it comes with the original disc. It has this really cool uh, artwork in the back of the laboratory. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, that was really cool of him to uh, throw that in for... Uh, absolutely free. I didn't even ask him for him, so that was awesome. That was a uh, Resident Evil long box on PS1. All right, so I guess we'll uh, get right into the yard sale pickups. All right, so the first place that I went to, they had a huge lot of like systems and games. And she didn't want to sell the game separately. She was really like adamant about keeping it all together. But somehow I talked her into selling these games separately, and uh, I'll show you those games. First one is Street Fighter 2. We have a uh, Star Wars Episode One Pod Racing, Castlevania. Second copy of Castlevania, so if anybody needs this, this will be up for trade. Castlevania Legacy of Darkness, and another copy of Mario 64. She originally wanted twenty or fifteen dollars for the lot, but I offered her ten dollars. So for those seven games, I got for ten bucks. All right, so the uh, next house that I got to that actually had some games for sale had like a whole bunch of random stuff, uh, systems with no games to it, and games to systems that they didn't have. So and uh, so from there, I got uh, a Fat NES, and that came with a light gun and two controllers, 64 Rumble Pack, Star Fox 64, which I don't have, so good to add that to the collection copy of Yoshi's Story, which will be up for trade because I do have this game already. This one is uh, Driver 2 on the PS1, which I did not have. And last but not least is a copy of Pokemon Yellow. Um, the label's a little bit rough, it's not too bad, it's a little bit faded, and uh, it's a little bit dirty, but I'm sure it'll clean up pretty nice. Alright, so for all that there, I paid $10 for the lot. She wanted $5 for the NES on its own, and I think she said $2 a game. But uh, I ended up talking it down to 10 bucks. It was this was early in the day. I wasn't trying to you know blow all my money right away. All right. So the uh, next sale I went to was one of the uh, random ones that I found, just following signs on the way to uh, the ones that I found on Craigslist. And on the table, she had a whole bunch of random game stuff again. She had like a PS1 system and a whole bunch of PS1 games. But uh, out of those, I grabbed Crash 2 and Crash Bandicoot Warped, which I believe is part three. Lime green Game Boy Color. I did test this out, it works perfectly fine. Uh, has the battery cover and everything, it's in pretty good shape, it's not bad at all. And then uh, they have this case right here, it's like the old school, old school Game Boy case. And uh, we'll check out what's in here, open this up for you guys. Check inside. Right here is a uh, Play It Loud clear version. And this again, has the battery cover and everything. It's actually in pretty decent shape, it does need a new like screen cover because it's all scratched up. But uh, it works, I tested it, this turns on, plays fine, no problems. Uh, down here is a little link cable for the Game Boy. And then we'll go through the games, this is Tonio Pro Skater 2, Super RC Pro-Am, the obvious copy of Tetris that everybody has, F1 Race, Dr. Mario, and again, last but not least, best one out of the bunch, this perfect copy of Pokemon Silver. Alright, so everything at that sale I paid $10 for. Alright, so the uh, next sale I went to was a sale that I actually went to last year. These are the kind of people who, uh, they kind of buy stuff and then resell it at the yard sale. First thing I got was the uh, wireless receiver for the WaveBird controller. Dino Crisis on the PS1. A really nice copy of Resident Evil 2. This is the DualShock edition. And next up we have a copy of Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2. Uh, this is the Tenkaichi or whatever you want to say version. Now this one I was really happy to pick up and add this one to the collection. This is another real real pricey one. Uh, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. 
It's uh, the Simpsons Hit and Run. And next up is uh, Mario Party 7 for the GameCube. Really happy to pick this one up. I don't really have many of the Mario Party games. Uh, this was probably the best GameCube game that they had there. The rest of them were really just kids games. And the best part was they came out with the actual GameCube system. And as always, I always check inside. And there's a copy of Paper Mario in there. And uh, for all that, I went up to tell you what these games expecting are to be like 10 bucks a game. Uh, I got all that for 5 bucks. Now, I'm starting to uh, get near the end of my list. And uh, I went to this one sale. It wasn't. It was in my neighborhood, but it was kind of like down a really long dead end road, um, where kind of the road went all the way down, and it ended where the highway was. So there was no way to exit. You had to turn around and go all the way back. So I guess not a lot of people went there. Uh, but they did have this silver slim PS2. I opened that up, and it had a copy of uh, Vice City Stories in it, which was actually the one that I'm missing for PS2. Only thing is, I don't have the case for it and a clear blue PS2 controller and the matching uh, silver or platinum. I asked him if he had any games. He went inside and checked in the basement for some games. Wasn't much, but I did pick up uh, TMNT on PS2 and uh, Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. I grabbed uh, Resident Evil 4 and a copy of Super Mario Galaxy. He wanted $15 for the PS2. Somehow I talked him into $15 for the PS2 and those four games, so five games actually, because it was one in the system. Now these next couple of pickups are from uh, random yard sales that they didn't really have that many games. Um, <clears throat> the first one, the only thing they had was this Wii Fit Plus, and uh, I got this one for a buck. So, not too bad. Went to another sale, and he asked, I asked him if they had any games, and he went inside and grabbed a couple of PS3 games. Uh, out of the ones he bought out, I picked up uh, Call of Duty World at War, two bucks ratchet and clank collection this has uh the three games fully mastered in hd for ps3 again two dollars for this one and uh this was the last sale on my list actually and one of them was uh, enter the matrix i'm not sure if i have this one i don't think i have this one i think i have path of neo which is a completely different game uh so i have to check but uh this one was really in good condition and i love the matrix series so it's cool to pick this up and then a copy of Tekken 4. Um, she originally told me a dollar a piece. It was the end of the day and I didn't feel like spending a dollar a piece on these. So I asked her if I could get both of them for a buck and she took the dollar. So I got both of those for a dollar. So at that point I had finished my entire list and on the way back I saw a sale that was unadvertised uh, about two blocks away. And from there I picked up a Wii. And this is the original one, backwards compatible with the GameCube. So that came with the system. This little bag of goodies right here for 20 bucks. It's the power cable, sensor bar, a little stand for the Wii, AV cables, Mario Kart wheel, which will be pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna try this out with Mario Kart 8 Wii Motion Plus. Three Wii controllers. Um, in varying condition, but none of them are too bad. Um, this copy of Wii Sports that was apparently eaten by somebody. Uh, but not only did it have Wii Sports in it, there's a copy of Super Mario Galaxy in there. So that was awesome. I'm not sure what this is for. I believe this is a charging cradle for a 3DS. It says 3DS on the back. And it has a port here. And this flips forward. You know, that was it for the Wii stuff. Um, I paid 20 bucks for that lot. So uh, as I was loading stuff into the car, the mom comes out and she's like, Oh wait, hold on, I have a broken 360 in the trunk of my car. And she asked me if I was interested in it. When, I, when she asked me that, I was like, I'm not really sure how to repair them or how much it would cost. And she was like, oh no, you could just have it. It's, it's, it's broken. I tried to uh, get it fixed at GameStop, but they said they don't, they don't fix it. So uh, she gave me this Xbox 360. That's... The original one that also came with a 60 gig hard drive the all the cables and everything the power the power brick and black controller with the play and charge kit uh, much to my surprise I took this home and I plugged it in and it powered up perfectly fine it loaded you know whoever's profile was on here uh, I switched out the hard drive that also loaded up. I actually left it on for about two hours. 
with no problems. They said it had the red ring of death, uh, but it just turned on and worked perfectly fine since I got home. So I'm debating whether or not to keep this or to just get rid of it before it breaks, possibly trade it to GameStop, depending on uh, what they offer for that. So uh, at that garage sale I was telling you guys about earlier, I had stopped there and pretty much as soon as I walked in, the guy said, uh, we're trying to get rid of everything. I don't think they were moving. He told me that he just didn't want to bring the stuff back downstairs. So uh, it was like a lot of bins and random stuff thrown around. So you had to kind of sift through everything. Um, but I did manage to find a couple of cool items there. So we got a uh, Xbox 360 controller. This is the regular white controller. And this has the uh, rechargeable battery pack. Uh, it also came with the regular battery pack and an extra battery, which uh, I think it was a red one, so it matches the red controller. Then we have a uh, PS1 game, Namco Museum Volume 3. It's just a manual and a disc. Uh, next up, we have a PlayStation 1 demo disc. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the one that came with the, uh, the system when you bought it. Uh, I think I'm going to use it for when I hook up my uh, PlayStation 3 kiosk. Next up, we got some PS2 games. The first one is Tokyo Extreme Racer Zero and also a Tokyo Extreme Racer 3. Next up we have Shellshock Nam 67. Uh, just realized right now this was developed by Guerrilla Games, so I'm really excited to check this one out. Next up we have uh, Robotech Battlecry. And the last one for the PS2 games, a uh, copy of Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. And uh, the two best pickups there, really surprised to find these. So the first one I got there is Paper Mario Sticker Star, 3DS. Uh, I was really happy to pick this one up. This is one of the last games I needed for the Paper Mario collection. And the other one was uh, Super Mario 3D Land. Again, I was really happy to pick this one up. I don't have this game. Um, I haven't gotten around to it yet. I still actually haven't gotten to around to getting 3D World for the Wii U either. And uh, I do need uh, the case and manual for both of those last two games. So if anybody has one available, uh, let me know. I'm going to be looking for one for the next week or so. And if not, I'll probably just grab it on eBay. Alright, so the last thing I got at that sale is not technically game related, but I think you guys will enjoy this. Uh, got this oversized uh, Michelangelo figure, and I'll hold up a PS2 game so you can see how tall he is. He's actually a, a bit taller than a PS2 game, so it's really cool to find these. I've never actually seen ones this big. Um, I think they're marked for 2012, so they're from one of the newer series. Uh, but uh, they didn't only have Mikey, they also had Raphael. Uh, I wish they had the weapons for these guys, but they just had the figures. But I was really happy to scoop these up, they'll look pretty good on the shelf together. Um, so for everything at that sale, uh, I got for $10, and actually got a couple other things non-game related. Uh, so that was a really good price, obviously, I would have paid $10 for the DS games alone. So again, I just want to thank you guys for checking out my videos, and uh, if you haven't already, you know, subscribe to the channel so you get updates when I upload new videos. Um, there's actually a huge, huge community yard sale next week. It's actually being held at like this amphitheater where they hold uh, concerts and stuff. So supposedly it's supposed to be Long Island's biggest yard sale. Um, so I'm gonna get there real early. Um, I saved some money from this week. I didn't really go too crazy. They're advertising as this massive yard sale. So hopefully I find some great stuff there. I'm gonna have somebody with me helping me uh, hunt stuff down. So hopefully we get some great stuff and get some good footage for you guys. So um, leave a comment below if you'd like. I always like interacting with everybody, which reminds me, um, Follow my Instagram account if you guys are on Instagram. It's uh, at Simply Retro Gaming. I'll uh, put the link right here for you guys. Um, I actually more active on there because it's a lot easier to take pictures and stuff. I can just take a quick shot and um, you know upload it really quick. Um, I do lo love to interact with everybody there. Make sure you uh, check that out if you're on Instagram. So once again, I just want to thank you guys, and until next time.